Utah town is hoping to leave major problems with their police department in the rearview mirror. But now, did Manaway City leaders do a proper background check on their new chief? Well, our Jeremy Harris did, and he took 20 pages of disciplinary records directly to city administrators to ask if they knew about any of these issues. There's something comfortable about the picturesque beauty of Manaway, Utah in the spring, but the problems swirling at City Hall are getting quite uncomfortable. I don't like chasing you out of the building. Manaway has been in turmoil for months, and the problems with how they manage their police department aren't going away. This is Craig Hamer. He's the new police chief, and he's taking over after the city fired their last chief, who claimed the mayor was pressuring him into issuing more tickets. That mayor, Mike Johnson, abruptly resigned, but not before hiring and swearing in new chief Hamer. And that's what we came to get answers about. See, Hamer comes from West Jordan Police, where he had some issues. 20 pages of disciplinary reports, which I obtained through a public records request, show Hamer was terminated late last year for, among other things, dereliction of duty and giving false or misleading statements in an investigation, an unethical and unauthorized accounting of time. Police admin said at one point Hamer said, it doesn't matter how hard you work. His record lists years of warnings and corrective actions, which West Jordan police administrators wrote Hamer ignored until he was fired. And I'd like to ask about that. Council member Pam Eves, who oversees the police department, did not want to talk to me. Neither did can the I new ask, mayor. Can I ask you if, about if Jim Jones did a background check with West Jordan PD? But there's Jim Jones, the guy in green. He's the Manaway police commissioner a made-up position, his words, to help advise the city on hiring the chief. He did Hamer's background check, and he refused to be recorded, but talked to me off-camera, telling me West Jordan police said the records were protected. He later changed his story and said West Jordan police wanted him to drive to their city to get the records, which he said he wouldn't do. West Jordan police told me nobody from Manaway requested Hamer's personnel file. I want to ask you if Jim Jones did his due diligence on the background check for the hire of the chief. Uh, I believe yes, he did. This is probably not the welcome that the city or Chief Hamer had hoped for, but many people in this idyllic town are concerned the years of headaches over their police force aren't over. Now, this is probably, you know, we've talked to the police chief here, and Jim Jones told me that he knew about Hamer's record at West Jordan and that he had other sources for vetting him other than the official personnel file. I offered to give Manaway City a copy of that report. They told me they didn't want it. So, Jeremy, this seems like a vicious cycle they're in. Where does this go from here? Is there any oversight of the new chief from the state at this point? Well, Heidi, I checked into that. The state police officer standards and training says they haven't had any investigations rise to their level of Chief Hamer, but a police officer's past discipline records can be used by defense attorneys to try and discredit them in court, so it's not clear how this may affect future cases going forward. I've posted a lot more details about Hamer's record on KUTV.com.